Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be making this 3D Nintendo Switch paper squishy. So let's just get right with the video. Um, with some materials that I'll be needing is paper, scissor, pencil, tape, stuffing. You can also use um, grocery bags or plastic bags. And the stuff that you can color with, with I think I'll be using markers. So yeah, let's just get started. So first, I will be folding the paper in half and then I'm gonna adjust like the size that I want my um, paper squishy to be so I'm gonna like fold it and cut it out before I color it because if you color it before you cut it it's really hard to see the lines so it'd be really like crooked and everywhere so I just like to like fold it before I do anything getting really hot here first I'll be coloring in the inside part which I'll be coloring in in gray And now I need to color the outside part black. Okay, now I'm done. So I'll be laminating with the tape. I'm gonna make this 3D side, so I have to make one of those like stripes or go around it over here like that. Now I'm going to be adjusting the heights. So for this one, I need to make two each for the long side, the other part. Now I'm going to be coloring it black. Um, my marker were like going out, so I had to like change it for my the other two little stripes, but like it looks green for somehow. But, anyways, now I will be laminating with the tape. Um, after I laminate with the tape, I'll be cutting out um, the four stripes for my 3D paper squishy. I think I'm gonna watch something because it's really boring. Just. Now you're going to be connecting all the stripes in it to one to make 3D like that. I'll be doing that for all the four sides. Then you're also going to stick the back side to right next to it so that you can make like a little cube in rectangle size, I guess. Then I'll be putting my stuffing in, which I use cottons. You can also use like any grocery bags or old squish. You can just cut it out and use as a stuffing. Then I'll be sealing with the tape to the top part like I did to my other side. 
while you're sealing up with the tape please make sure there's no any big holes left um if there's a big holes it won't be slow rising so make sure you cover them all and after i cover all of the sides now it's done with my main part then i'll be making those two controllers that they have i'll be marking the parts and fold it so that i can adjust the heights for controllers but for this video i'll be using the actual controllers to like draw it so that i can use it for actual size so i'll be tracing those like shapes so that i can make the actual size then i'll be drawing those buttons in the controller i guess um i'll put in the fast motion because it's really boring to just watch me draw little circles then i went with my black sharpie to um color them and i actually switched them so that i can like color faster I'm actually going to use red and blue for the controller because I couldn't find um, bright pink or bright green. So I'm going with my red markers and a blue marker to color the controllers. And then I'll be laminating the both side to make two side actually for the controllers and cut them out to shapes that I want to. After that, I will be making the stripes so that I can make it into paper squishy. Um, I actually made four so that I can use two for each controllers, but I think you guys can make one and a half because um, I really didn't use the second stripes, so I'll be cutting them to four stripes. I colored one blue for the blue controller and um, I colored the other one red for the red controllers. So after I color them, I laminate it with the tape. Then I um, cut it out the tapes that were on the edge because I don't be needing them. Then I cut the stripes to half so that I can make two stripes. And I did the same thing to the red one. I cut the edges out and make two. Then I'm going to make the controller. You have to stick those in like I did to my other duty paper squishy. Then you're just gonna go around it and tape it around so that you can make a little 3D part. I actually did this in a fast mode because it was taking so long um, and I actually kind of lazy to edit <laughs> those parts. So as you guys can see, you don't really need the other stripes you just needed one and a half stripes, which I should have made it before. Then I'm going to um, stick the back side in. But make sure you leave a one side open so that you can put stuffing in. For stuffing, you can use cottons or um, any plastic bags like grocery bags. And I'm going to seal it up at last and it will be done. So here is the finished one um, controller. And I'll be doing the same thing to the blue one. So here's how the blue one turned out. Sorry about the bad taping job, but now I'll be putting those two together to the main part, which I'll be using the tape. So first you need going to cut the tape off and roll it up so that the sticky part is all around. Then you're gonna put that to the main side and cut the edges out if you don't need it. Then I'll be putting that in and you can also take it out if you want just like that and put it back in like the real controller um so i'll be doing that same thing to the other side i'll be rolling up the tape and put it to the side where like the main part and stick the controllers and that's about it And I made it in like the actual size of the Nintendo Switch. 
I really like how it turned out. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, big thumbs up, notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post. And please comment down some any paper squishy ideas or requests so that I can make it into paper squishy. Yeah, this is the last part of the video. I will see you guys in my next video.